This is a family friendly show. Okay, there you go. What's up everybody, my name is Jesse and I'm the founder and grandmaster of MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. You already know that this episode is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. More on that later. So I put a post on all the social media pages to submit memes to the subreddit, but I think maybe some people didn't understand or they don't have a Reddit or whatever. So they put them on Facebook or Twitter, different places like that. So I'll scope those ones out too. I already know there's gonna be comments like, hey fool, I didn't subscribe for this. I just wanna see fight breakdowns. And how come you're not talking about like Fight Island and Masvidal and all that? Hey fool, it's because I'm not Ariel Hawani, all right? That's not why I made this channel. I know I do breakdowns. I know I talk about MMA and UFC news and stuff like that a lot, but that's not all I do, all right? Sometimes I just wanna look at the memes. For those of you who might not know what a meme review is, it's just where you look at memes and you review them. It's kind of like PewDiePie, but better. Hey, I'm Jesse. Want to do some MMA? Do <laughs> That's right, homie. Everybody thinks that they're hard, or what is it? Everybody thinks that they're hard or that they have a plan until they're sallied up with the Grandmaster. That's what Mike Tyson said a long time ago. And that's literally what my hair looks like without the beanie, so. Respect for the Photoshop skills. This one says me hungover and work the next day. I don't know what that feels like. I've never experienced that myself, but I feel like I can relate at the same time because I struggle with insomnia. I'm dealing with it right now. I feel bad every time I look at this picture. Look at that fool's face. That's a meme all by itself. Ooh. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Hey, that's a missed opportunity right there. Look at that fool's face. He would have been a bad action star. He should have been in some movies. Was he in some movies? He probably, he was probably in a couple of straight to DVDs. He's got that look, you know? Hey, sweetie, ain't you got a name? <laughs> Danny Glover, Texaria. I still don't know how to say that last name. <laughs> hey, this one looks like I photoshopped it. <laughs> Like, I would like to imagine that the person that made this one is actually really good at Photoshop and they just made it look like this to be even funnier. <laughs> Apparently, there's a case of the bubonic plague in northern China. That's great. That's not a meme. That's just one of the trending hashtags. <laughs> is the brown ranger still centering his chi? <laughs> Hey, you can laugh all you want though. That gets you toned for real. I don't think I could show some of these. <laughs> hey, I told you to keep it clean. This is a family show. I can't show this one. <laughs> hey, if you go on the subreddit, it's the one with Connor, all right? It's the one about Connor McGregor and how he completes words. And um, this is my way to entice you to go and, uh, and join the subreddit. This is the one, this is uh, the locked player. You have to join the subreddit to go see this one. Keep Grandmaster off the street corner, become a patron. Hey, hey, you're using your meme submission just to help out, just to pay my bills, respect. Do you know the bird? Have, do you ever see the bird on the corner holding a big sign? I used to do that for real. I would just put on my phone, my headphones, and I would just be like dancing out there because you have to dance too. I remember, oh snap, I forgot about that. I remember one time I fell off the curve. <laughs> I used to dance because they would drive by. The ladies that worked in the office, they would like go around the block every like hour or whatever. That it was dirty. They were just spying on you to see how you were doing. So I'd have to be out there like moving around and stuff. And I remember one time I fell off the curb hard on my back and I was trying to catch my balance. So I was like falling in slow motion. And I don't know if you've ever seen the costume before for the birds, but you had to wear these big old feet. So that's why I tripped. I stepped on myself. That was embarrassing. It's the same one, but this one's moving. So somebody submitted the, the screenshot and then I think they figured out how to submit a, a gif. So it's the same one, but this one's actually dancing. All right. And my moves are better though, for real. At least this fool didn't fall down, but my moves are better. All of the above. Is this currently a good video recommendation for you? Help us improve YouTube. Mexican Taekwondo is illegal in Korea. Hey, this is old school. That was three years ago. If you haven't seen that one, you know what? Probably don't watch it. I'm kind of embarrassed of those older videos. 
Please complete survey, watch the video. Extremely good. Hey, that's what's up. Calming? <laughs> Please tell us why. It was calming, related to the current video, informative, inspiring, useful, entertaining, and other. <laughs> My favorite one is calming. Hey, that's an air horn for you right there. Respect. I think that was during the last stream when I was trying to wake up. <laughs> if you're in the notification squad, you're going to be seeing this video on... But I'm recording this on Monday, so I feel you. Grandmaster fuel, spicy, <laughs> spicy, <laughs> spicy sandwich. This one has one comment. You telling me they got spicy chicken at Hardee's? <laughs> this homie's like, all this time I could have been getting down with the spicy. <laughs> UFC 247 judges during the event. <laughs> UFC judges exposed. Hey, lazy and more lazy. Emirati. Lazy Emirati. Hey, this fool's promoting his salve. Look at the username up here and the username on the YouTube channel. He's promoting his own video. Hey, let's let's give let's show this fool some love though. Respect on the hustle. Let's see. UFC judges exposed. Guys, the ridge wallet. This thing is different. It's sleek. It's industrial. It fits into your front pocket. It's going to change your wallet game. Ridge wallet. Pull up to 12 cards. All the cash that you're going to need. And you can choose from over 30 colors in the style. Including carbon fiber or burnt titanium. It is the best wallet you can buy. And you don't have to take my... You're going to get 10% off with free worldwide shipping and return. 10% off, huh? All right. I want to do 50. 50% 50 off. So just to clarify, we cannot do 50. Can you do 45? Hello? So I can't do the 50% off, but I went back and forth with the good people at the Ridge Wallet, and here's what I can do. So if you order five different times with 10% off, that's basically 50%. Mira, you already know I get down with the carbon fiber, but you don't have to sab out like me. You can start with aluminum or titanium. And there's a bunch of different styles and colors. I used to have to keep two wallets in my back pockets just so that I could be aligned when I sat down. But this front pocket wallet changed all of that for me. Now I'm all cheeks to chair and it's wonderful. I see you fools out there at the restaurants putting your bigger wallets on the table. You're gonna get jacked, homie, by me. And why do you do that? Because it's uncomfortable. Stop lying to yourself. The Ridge Wallet has over 30,000 five-star reviews. Let these people be your mentors. If you go to ridge.com forward slash Voto and put in the promo code Voto, you'll get 10% off and free worldwide shipping. And if you want 50% off, then just place five different orders. And then, you know, basic math. Please get one. Oh, snap. So Joe Rogan right now is calling out one of the judges saying that he's not even watching the fight. That's messed up. I mean, that's what he gets, but man, now Joe Rogan exposed him. Oh, that's a cute dog. The judge is literally not watching this fight. How guys hug female friends when their girl is not around versus when she's not. <laughs> I remember something that happened to me one time, and this is a 100% true story. And I know that when people say that, it makes you think it's not a true story, but it is. All right, so I was a much younger man, and one of the girls was hanging out, and she jumped on my back. I can't tell you why she decided to do this, but she was like trying to get a piggyback ride or whatever, you know? And I was like, what am I gonna do? Kick her off, give her the outboard, or whatever? I don't wanna be messed up. So I was just like walking around, you know? And she was on my back and she was there for a couple of minutes or whatever. Everybody has some laughs, she gets off, all right? And then later I was talking to my girl and she was like, I heard about what you did earlier. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, you gonna, you gonna tell me or what? And I was like, well, I, I, I don't know why she did that. And she's like, why well, she did what? And I was like, well, she jumped on my back, you know? She's like, oh, yeah, you don't know why she jumped on your back? And I was like, no. And 
she's like, how long was she there? And I'm like, I don't know, a couple minutes. And she's like, well, what's she doing now? I don't know, laughing, smiling. She just wanted a piggyback ride or whatever. It turns out she didn't even know about it. She was just manipulating me. She was just throwing something out there. She was fishing. Coincidentally, something actually happened that day and I ratted myself out. She didn't talk to me for like three days. The, is on you. the big man. What is too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Grandmaster work ethic. Hey, I try. It's a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of black coffee. But I do my best to be here for you every Tuesday. And I got a promise right here before July's over. We're gonna find Macho Man. I gotta put it out there. I gotta force myself before July's over. We're gonna, well, I don't know if we're gonna find Macho Man. I take that back, but we're gonna look for him. The next installment of Life of a Grandmaster is gonna be too hot to handle and too cold to hold. Bottle cap kick for the ages. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This is one of the ones that I already saw before, but I'm gonna look at it again. This made me laugh. Haters will say it's fake. Hey, for real, I wish I had thought of that. That's funny. <laughs> hey, for real, not enough syrup, though. Not enough syrup. When I put the syrup, it's like a soup. The ideal content for people wanting the brick wall. <laughs> You're taking everything I worked for. <laughs> this is deep, huh? Is this political? Are they talking about Obama and trying to help immigration? And he's fighting Donald Trump with with the wall and he's putting his face on the brick. Dang, you went deep, homie. Honestly, I'll never understand the fascination with the brick wall. I don't get it. I'll give you a little behind the scenes information though. I was thinking about making a new set right here with the brick wall. So I don't know, I'll see what people think about that one. They'll probably still complain. You had one job when you find out the pot is ruined with burnt beans on the bottom. <laughs> During the Mexican Fight Companion, I smelled something burning. I was like, oh snap, that smells like something that shouldn't be burning, you know? You know, sometimes you're doing something in the room and you smell like bacon or meat or pescetti or whatever. This didn't smell like that. It smelled like something's burning that's not supposed to be burning. And I was like, I better go check it out. So I had to dip during the Mexican Fight Companion. I went out there to see what was going on and it looked like Marilena just burned the beans. It was all smoking or whatever. I was like, hey, what are you doing? She's over there watching Even Stevens. <sighs> I had to sneeze it went away. Colby fans, EPO snooze man got saved by not so Goddard. Blank that guy. I hope Burns destroys him. Colby's the goal. Oh, I see. We're making fun of Colby fans. <laughs> hey, this is messed up. You even got the homie with the pills in the background. <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> Why is his life so bad? <laughs> hey, look, at he even has a bruise on his arm. Somebody's abusing this fool. <laughs> and his name is, she's not broken. She's not joking. Crying behind her laugh. <laughs> what the heck? I think I'm gonna have to admit it right here. I'm out of the loop on this one. She's not broken. <laughs> all right, look it, look it. I'm not big on the meme culture, all right? I stay busy. Everybody that saw this one already knew what it was all about. No, I feel like that fool's laughing at me. I'm not gonna read the caption on this one. I'm gonna make you go to the subreddit and read that. Um, Like I said, this is a family-friendly show. Family-friendly show. I love the square right here. You can see that. You can see. <laughs> hey, they tried their best. Again, though, this looks like one that I made. <laughs> I don't know why Darren Till's face makes more sense on Mike Perry's body. Watching the Grandmaster, it's time for the main card. I saw this one during the Mexican Fight Companion. This one's a classic. This is classic Bruce Buffer right here. You can't go wrong. See, now full airborne. I was watching some old UFC fights the other day, pre-Bruce Buffer, you know? And I was like, there was a time before Bruce Buffer. And you know what? There's gonna be a time after Bruce Buffer. And it's trippy, you know? It made me kind of sad. Like, what's that gonna be like? It's like when you get like a puppy, you know? And it's like, dang, I'm already sad. 
the day I brought it home because it's like someday the puppy's gonna die, you know? Like you can't, you can't escape it. It kind of floods your memories and now all of you at home with puppies, now you're just thinking about your puppy dying. I just ruined your day and I apologize. But that's what I feel like about Bruce Buffy, you know? He reminds me of a dead puppy. Mole power. Bozer decide to take on the ref. What? I think... I think Tanner Bozer knocked out Felipe Lins. And he was like hammer fisting them or something. He was going crazy. And like he was... I thought that fool was going to fight with her being already. Who? I know a guy... <laughs> This is a family friendly show. I know a guy, uh, a little guy that sounds like an owl. Who? Exactly. <laughs> hey, you know who that fool looks like? He kind of looks like uh, Bob Odenkirk, doesn't he? From Better Call Saul. Doesn't he look like he could be his brother? Tell me he doesn't look like Better Call Saul. <laughs> After Usman's fight. Oh, <laughs> that's impressive. Nine out of 10 homies would leave that fool's face the, the normal color, but this is commitment right here. No! <laughs> it says tease. Oh, <laughs> without the proper context, this might look uh, a little bit uh, suspect to, to those who have not seen the full video. <laughs> but uh, let, me, let me put the link. Wait, what video is that? I think that was the uh, Connor versus Cowboy breakdown that I did. <laughs> I'll put the link down below. Uh, if you watch the whole thing, it'll make sense. I think. I think. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, that's back when Macho Man was still with us. I will remember. Macho Man? What's up, fools? Seeing everyone showing up for the Grandmaster's live stream. Ah, I see you're a man of culture as well. <laughs> I like those ones. Hey, for real, everybody that shows up for the Mexican Fight Companions, it's, it's like, it's got me spoiled, you know? It's, it's the funnest thing I do on this channel now. 209, PS4 controller, Nate Diaz edition. Take damage, pressure, take damage, point finger and laugh. <laughs> Show middle finger, <laughs> one, two, and slap. <laughs> and this was the moment he realized he messed up. <laughs> Look at that fool's eyes. Yeah, I felt bad for him. He, uh, he reminded me, like, he was definitely a throwback. He looked like one of those fighters from, like, the 30s or something like that. Uh, I mean, he's probably, like, the same age as me. I don't know. But he just kind of, like, took you back to the old times, you know? It felt like he was, like, fighting someone's fighting someone's Theo or something. And, like, uh, it felt like something that shouldn't have happened, you know? Like, this young buck went in there and knocked out somebody's uncle. It felt kind of awkward. Keith Peterson, AA Thoughts. There's a Mexican martial arts subreddit now. Should I lay off the whiskey? <laughs> I like the popping his fingers thinking about it. <laughs> that fool always looks like he's deep in thought, but you know he's not. Subscribe to Grandmaster's Insta to find Flaco. Flaco in the wild. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I picked up a hitchhiker a while back and his name was Flaco. What the? Hey cutie, get in! If you can, please support the Grandmaster. When Flaco comes over, then the crew shows up. In terms of money, we have no money. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Grandmaster with no beanie. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the beanie. <laughs> what the heck? Why are you doing me like that? <laughs> it took me a while to recognize that fool too. Hey, for real? I'm tired of people always tripping about what I got on underneath the beanie. If you want to find out for yourself, today's the day, all right? Today's the day. It's only beans. <laughs> we got another bean meme. It's only beans. Let cooler heads prevail. When you hear keys in the door a week after Marilena leaves you, while you're making on Marilena chapter two and live streaming with that. <laughs> There ain't no bikes in the shower. You're gonna ruin your bearings, homie. Trust me, personal experience. Hey, I wanna set like this though. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> Respect to the Grandmaster. Grandmaster uploading great content. It ain't much, but it's honest work. I saw this one before, <laughs> I like that one. And hey, it ain't much, but it's honest work. It's the best that I could do. But to be honest, today is kind of a coincidence. Today, the work is not that honest. 
because I'm showing your work today. So today my video was just showing the memes that you gave me. I remember this one. During one of the Mexican Fight Companions, I grew out the mustache. And this one says, if the mustache stays, Grandmaster Final Four. <laughs> I remember when I was like in fifth grade, I had a homie with hair like that and he dyed it blonde. He was a soccer player. Open Guard Wednesdays. When you find out about Grandmaster's Open Guard Wednesdays private lessons. <laughs> That's right. Eat your heart out, Rainier. Nobody works that open guard like me. Chale, when Conor McGregor retires, supposedly. <laughs> hey, this one reminds me of that um, that Willy Wonka one a little bit. <laughs> Luke needs to step up. People that try to find Luke, but find GM. <laughs> I came looking for copper and I found gold. <laughs> Are you talking about, uh, at first I thought you were talking about Luke Rockhold. I think you're talking about um, Luke Thomas. <laughs> Respect the rivalry. Respect the rivalry between me and Luke Thomas. Hope Grandmaster sees this. When you come home and Marilena pulls open guard. <laughs> this is a family friendly show. Live feed of Dana White laughing at Jesse being unable to load the main car from atop his money throne on Fight Island. Yeah, man, that was frustrating. I remember a couple of Mexican Fight Companions ago, I was trying to go from the preliminaries to the main car and it was trying to double charge me and I couldn't get in. And then finally I was like, all right, whatever. I'm gonna go through the steps again. And if it charges me, I'm gonna have to deal with it later and get refunded or whatever. And finally it worked. I guess they recognized me, but man, that was a, that was a frustrating couple of minutes. Dana White was trying to get my paper. These are my confessions. These are my confessions. When you secretly like being the little spoon. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I like that photo. That's a good photo. It's got profile potential. Please help Grandmaster. When you finally break down and make a OnlyFans showing just feet, hoping no one will recognize your accent. <laughs> Look at the shame in that face. That's the face I have on the whole time I'm showing feet. But then I'm showing this face when I'm when I'm cashing those checks. Cody Garbrandt winding up his uppercut against Rafael Asuncion. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like if Objective Burn is an artist and he actually drew this to imitate Cody on that night because that's exactly what it looked like. You know how the Simpsons always have like uh, celebrity cameos? They're gonna have Rafael Zunciao in there getting knocked out by March. Eddie Bravo looking beautiful, Tony. Oh. I'm slightly offended, but I will let this one pass because it's a behind the scenes moment. Grandmaster Food Fix. The next dream setup. Hey, I saw this one. That's like, I want that for Christmas right there. That I bet that fool's cold though. Look at his little short shorts sitting by the fridge. You know that fool's freezing. <laughs> he looks cold too. Look at his posture. But why would you wear the little shorts and then the sweater? Dolly Parton challenge, but better. LinkedIn, Facebook. Hey, LinkedIn's going way back. That was the first video ever. Facebook, Instagram and Tinder. And I gotta be honest with you, a lot of people didn't know, uh, but the Tinder photo is fake. I photoshopped it. I felt a little bit um, embarrassed. Like, I don't like to show a lot of skin. I'm just very like old fashioned that way. Uh, you could tell that it's not me because my traps are way bigger. But if you don't know that, then everything else is like identical. So it's hard to tell the difference, but I just wanted to be upfront with you, you know? Mad genius. Mike Perry girlfriend, Mike Perry, old coaches. And it's funny how a lot of people were clowning on him and now everybody's showing him love and respect, saying that he's got it down. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot more fighters with their girlfriends in the corner. Imagine somebody like Connor starts doing that. They'll have like 15 girls in the corner and D. Devlin in the crowd changing diapers. My little bro, when the relatives call him a strong boy. <laughs> That's like that classic little brother stance right there. First OnlyFans check clears when the OnlyFans check comes in. For real, I remember that's how I thought it was gonna be when I got 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I need to get that OnlyFans. Khabib Drip. <laughs> the man was a fanboy. What are those? <laughs> those are ugly. Eagle emoji. Me, my mom, fast food employee doing his best. <laughs> hey, that's embarrassing when you go with somebody and like they don't know how to treat people and you're like caught in the middle. I hate when that happens. <laughs> and it's true. I used to work at Jack in the Box. People are disrespectful, especially in the drive-thru. Don't make me issue my ultimate form! Grown man crying when your girlfriend won't be in your corner. 
And I wasn't liking this fool at first because he was acting kind of cocky and like showboating and stuff. But when he gave this interview at the end, I got, I got a little bit emotional. I think he does need to rein it in a little bit though. He started to get like a little bit too confident. He's gonna try to jump up there a little too fast if he doesn't slow down like Rosenstrike or something. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good thing he bought a double order. Marilena burns the beans. Hey, we got another bean meme. Marilena burns the memes. Marilena burns the beans. Chinese leftovers for dinner. Hey, that's my favorite. I already told you like a million times. I love Chinese food. I, yeah, that night I had got um my favorite uh, restaurant opened again. They were closed forever because of the coronavirus. And uh, they finally opened and I got two plates. So that was the day that Marilena burned the beans. So I still had some Chinese leftover. PS5 looking lit. <laughs> hey, for real, I think way more people will buy it if that was the cover. I think we could all agree on that. That would be fun. And then you have to unlock all the different moments that he's been in trouble with the law. The beginning. The birth of Mexican martial arts. <laughs> that was me getting socked in the face by my sister. And I was like, never again. <laughs> from that point on, I was secure the bystander. I used my other sister to be the bystander from that point on. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Hey, that full plate is out. <laughs> and that muscle memory. <laughs> hey, that's what you get, fool. Hashtag John Lennon. This is calm, it's gonna get you. Hey, look at his face right there. That face, you could tell these should be like thought bubbles up here. You could tell those are like the moments that he was thinking of right here. <laughs> Tony Ferguson's new training regimen. Tony Ferguson conditioning his upper body. All right, let me, ref let me refresh it. Hold on, let me go back. Oh, I remember I used to do that when I was like in second grade. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> What's that fool doing? Oh, wait a minute. I just. Uh, hold on. Let me turn up the volume. I wasn't listening to the volume. I gotta hear this. People in the background, <laughs> watch, they, they don't even care. They're like, hey, it's that fool Tony. He comes every day. <laughs> he comes every day at lunchtime. <laughs> Time for painting. Bob Ross drawing Luis Pena. Oh, dang. This is like the trifecta right here. You got elements of Bob Ross, Luis Pena, and Bruce Lee. That's clean. I was seeing like... A couple of days ago, I think it was Bob Ross's birthday too. It was either his birthday or it was like they were celebrating the day that he passed, which I don't understand. Why do you wanna why do you wanna celebrate the day he died? <laughs> IRS Mike Perry. <laughs> I felt kind of bad for that fool, cause like I had a rude awakening with that myself when I started doing YouTube and I was getting paid, and it's like, all right, I guess this is what I make. And then the tax day came around. I was like, what? All of a sudden, you're trying to tax me? What happened during the rest of the year? And they're like, oh, that's that's how that works. And I was like, oh. I found Flaco. Seeking ladies will bring own couch. I posted this one a while back because a relative sent me this of my primo Flaco. He was uh, re relocating recently and he was moving his old couch around. <laughs> It's obviously seen uh, its better days, and uh, I thought that I would put a meme on here and try to get things, uh, try to get the ball rolling, you know? Legend has it, he's still posting up with that couch to this day. So uh, if you could be so kind, please reply to his post. La familia es todo. When you find out you have fans in the Taliban. <laughs> hey, for real, I don't know if it was a joke or what. One time, some for send me a comment saying because people will send comments like hey love from pakistan love from the uk love from ethiopia and i'm like dang if people watch from these places that's crazy love from brazil one time some fool left me a comment and he's like hey love and respect i'm in the taliban and we watch your videos and i was like oh dang i don't know if it's true or not 
But that's what that fool said, and I thought that was crazy. So somebody, somebody remembered that and made a meme out of it. <laughs> Laughing face. This won't hurt the baby. Ten years later, <laughs> he's a Connor fan. <laughs> Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be Connor fans. Late. I don't care if you want. You're cooking tonight. Oh damn. Hey, that's ice cold, homie. <laughs> Currently. On this channel, this is my demographic right here. 96.4% male and 3.6% female. I remember back in the day, it was like 99 point whatever percent male. And I was like, when I saw that the other day, I was like, show, we're growing the female base. And it made me feel good because we're expanding, you know? There's some potential here for female viewers too. Like there's a little bit of something for everybody. But uh, if you're a female viewer, uh, I apologize for the the distaste and the disrespect from that last meme. I take responsibility. Shout out to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to go to ridge.com forward slash Voto and put in the promo code Voto for 10% off. And I want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons who make this possible. If you want to become one, then you can find the link down below and you can see bloopers behind the scenes. Sometimes I just write little posts to tell you what's going on and the plan starts at only a dollar a month. That's cheap. Thank you for watching Mexican Martial Arts. Appreciate it. Good looking now. Lay. <laughs>